everyone, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of That Sewing Blab. We are so happy you are all here with us. I'm Myra. Myra, it's great to see you back again. Uh, <laughs> last week, uh, Myra, fabulous Maria uh, filled in, but it's really nice to have you back. I'm Don, your other co-host, and we are very, very excited tonight. Um, the lovely Myra and <laughs> the fabulous Natita, who's waiting in the wings. Um, came up with this uh, fabulous uh, contest hashtag. And it, it has uh, been very interesting, educational. And from what I've seen, there's been a lot of creativity and fun had by everyone. And it is hashtag uh, Black History Month pattern designers. So we're very excited tonight that we get to talk about this and uh, see some of the gorgeous things that people have made. Yes, it's been a wonderful one. It's been, and actually it was the brainchild of Miss Natita um, from uh, Natural Dane. And I was so happy she approached me um, to do this, uh, collaborate with her on this challenge because it has been very inspirational, uh, very um, informative for me as well. So we want to get this started because as part of this challenge, we um, have someone special that's coming on shortly, um, very brief, that's gonna tell us what she felt about this challenge and what it meant to her. So I think it's time for us to you know, get started and you know, bring on Natita and the special that we can talk about it. Hey, Miss Natita, <laughs> welcome Hi. back. Hi, Hi. <laughs> sorry, it's getting dark in here. <laughs> that's so okay, as long as we can see that beautiful face of yours and we can see it. <laughs> And we're going to talk more about the challenge with Natita and Myra. But first, we have our special guests because they have a small window um, to be able to join us. So are you ready for surprise? I, I love having this person on the show. Fabulous. Yeah, so so send them an invitation so they'll get a drop down menu. And when they click yes, they'll be joining us in a second. Yes. Yes. Um, she is a wonderful lady who has been on our show before. Um, her name is Miss Erin Shields, and she is the owner of Style So Me. Now, not only um, was she very informative, and she's one of the pattern designers, the many pattern designers that we focused on um, during this challenge, but she's also one of the sponsors of the challenge. So we really appreciate her for doing that. Hey, while you're talking with, um, when you, when you're while you're talking with Aaron, maybe we can get Natita to talk a little bit about what it meant, what this challenge meant to her, and having this challenge, and especially since it was you know her brainchild and how she came about this and everything. Okay, I can briefly um, talk about that. Again, sorry about the lighting. I have no special lighting in my room. So, <laughs> um, but um, at any rate. Uh, the challenge pretty much was a um, thought that I had initially was just to do myself um, because my birthday is in February. And so I was thinking, oh, that'll be fun. Why don't I just do it? Just popped in my head. And then I was like, you know what? Why not make this a, a, a challenge that perhaps the sewing community may enjoy and really highlight um, black pattern designers to and also educate. So the, the other component of this, which Myra did so well, was educating the sewing community about various um, pattern designers, um, giving some history. Um, I show inspiration photos from some of our different sponsors and different things like that and ideas, but it really was um, an opportunity to showcase um, black uh, pattern designers and give people ideas and just open up the sewing community to um, to everyone. Oh, there's Erin. Yes. There you go. <laughs> hey, Erin. Hey. Could you tell us a little bit about um, what this challenge has meant to you, especially when Natita reached out and told you about this challenge and you are absolutely appreciated as one of our sponsors. I wanna let you know that very much. <laughs> But can you tell us what this meant to you to be a part of this challenge? Well, first of all, like Natita can get anything from me because she is one of my like day one artist style so me, like a long wow. time ago. Wow. And Myra, you've been around a long time. Like I know these ladies by name. Who, you know, I see them like y'all have been around for like four years. So she can get anything from me. So as soon as she, I saw her name in my inbox, I was like, oh, I know. It's gonna be a yes. So I was really honored that she, you know, 
that first of all, I love the challenge, but I was really honored to be asked because it's those moments where it's just like, oh, a few people know me. So that's cool, you know. It was it was nice to be recognized, you know, on that level and to to feel like, you know, my pattern collection can be, you know, a part of something like this. And I think one of the most beautiful things that I saw about this challenge was the diversity of the participants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved to see that diversity of, of the participants. And I saw the language that you guys were using. You know, this is open for everyone. And people really took that and felt welcomed to participate. And I just absolutely love that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Natita, did you want to talk on that or? <laughs> Well, I, I but, well for the for the challenge. I know you short on time, Erin, but I was really, really, really so excited. You were the first one I reached out to that popped in my head, and, um, um, and you just never know what people's schedules are like or how busy they are, and if this is something that would even interest them. Um, and so when you said yes, I was like, oh, I told Mara, oh my <laughs> gosh. She said, <laughs> she, yes, said she, yes. did. <laughs> she did. Oh, so it was it, it was it's really been a pleasure. And of course, yes, we all know you and yeah. um always be supportive in some way, shape, or form. Definitely will be Thank uh, supportive. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now hey y'all, I see people speaking. No, I'm southern. I gotta speak to folks. So hey y'all. <laughs> 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 well, I have to say, you know, I was amazed, you know, was first off the fact that she reached out to me. I feel like you, uh, Aaron, when Natita reached out to me, uh, my first thought was, did she get the right person <laughs> when she wanted me to collaborate with her on this? And then I thought, uh, I'm not sure, but I was so honored, you know, that when we started to talk about, her, you know, what her ideas. Um, I just jump right in and she'll tell you, I, I, you know, I didn't want to take over, but, you know, there were some things like, you know, you know, working on graphics and, and language and all this mm -hmm. stuff. We totally 100 percent brainstormed on everything and it just went like clockwork. Everything went smoothly. Um, Natita went out and she found some designers I didn't even know about because I told her, you know, the few that I knew of which of course included you, but she had this list when she went out, she found this list of people who was like, oh yeah, this is gonna work. And it did, it turned out really, really nicely. And the statement that you said about the language that we did to um, make everyone feel inclusive, um, that was extremely important to us. And that was the thing that was yep. on top of our list in big, bold, red letters on our script. We, we wanted to emphasize that to everyone because as you know, sometimes people will get questions about that, you mm -hmm. know, whether or not they can participate. And we didn't want anyone to have that question in their head. So yes, it was really, really important to us to do that and to have people like you say yes and come <laughs> in. <laughs> And I will say, I'll pop in and say this, because um, I was going to mention this, but since you're on, I'll let you know. Um, you are you, and um, it is, I know Montoya, it was you, you were first. The most, uh, the, the most indie pattern that people selected during yeah. this challenge. Yes. One That's of your nice. patterns. You know. <laughs> I know which one that the is. Nikki. <laughs> yes. The Nikki Blazer. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like every, I say probably four out of five posts I saw was the Nikki Blazer. Like, y'all killed it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I saw that blazer done in so many different ways that I had never imagined it myself. And it's funny because. I joke on my Instagram that I hate florals uh -huh. for myself, but my favorite version was a floral version of the Nikki. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yep. <laughs> that was my favorite version. Because I never imagined it that way. And, mm -hmm. we, you know, we sew and it's just like people put their own spin on it. Yeah. You put your little stank on it and it's yours. <laughs> yeah, and I true. love it. <laughs> yeah. Don't that, that make is... you just 
jump for joy. Like, wow, yeah. these people mm-hmm. taking a vision, your baby, and, and just throwing it up there saying, I'm going to do this with this baby. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I gave you the canvas. They they made it their own. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is so true. <laughs> yes, you did, Miss Karina. We saw your floral version. <laughs> yeah, I think it was hers. Yeah. I think it was hers. Yeah. It was, that blue floral. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, really that was nice. Karina. Yep, yeah. That was Karina. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, since she's talked about your pattern and that fabulous Nikki Blazer, can you tell us just a little anything about the new launch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, this, I have Aaron. I spelled it with an I because people misspell my name all the time. So I was just like, let me just, I'm going to let y'all have this one. And so I did, <laughs> and, uh, I did an Aaron, which is two dresses with pockets, of course. Uh-huh. And um, they're just kind of loose fitting dresses that you can be comfortable with that, you know, I, I made these with the intention that they can be worn during all seasons. Right. And, um, the Lisa loungewear is kind of like my what I call wearable loungewear, where you can kind of. So the vision with the Lisa is that it's that loungewear you wear around the house where you don't want to look like you're trying to be cute, but you are. Right. Right, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but I'm really excited about this one because um, this launch because it's my first time offering multiple looks in one pattern. Okay. Oh, so yes. what we saw with the loungewear, those were all in one pattern? Three looks, a total of five views in one pattern. Get wow. out of here. Wow. Yes. Oh so that was my first time. Yes. And I mean, that came with a whole host of its own logistical issues, you know, mm-hmm. new printer and all kinds of stuff, but it's here. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, I'm excited about it. Well, I have to tell you, two of those looks I'm getting. I'm not going to tell you because, you know, me and my mis- my mysterious part, two of those looks <laughs> I want and I will be doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll wait to see them. <laughs> yeah, because I was showing my husband one last night and he go, oh, yeah, that'd be cute on you. So I'm not going to tell you, but you will be doing <laughs> <Okay>. it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait and see. <laughs> and okay, so I know you got. Oh, I'm sorry, Dawn. I was also gonna say I also noticed that you're doing uh, a new YouTube channel too, Launch, Grow, and Sell. And I have to say, yes. particularly, I'm very excited about watching more of those videos. Thank you, thank you. I started to do, you know, just some business content. Um, and I'm I'm okay with with time, y'all. My husband's here watching a daughter. I didn't think he was gonna be here. Okay, but um, but. I started posting like just a few business videos on Style So Me, just, you know, whenever I felt like it. And um, it just kind of felt a little jumble to me because people were finding me who didn't sew, but they were interested in the business content. And so I said, let me just break this up into another channel. It's been a while since I posted it because I've been prepping for these patterns. It's kind of just my passion thing. You know, I'm not, I, I had a course, but it's close for now. But it's just, you know, when I feel like posting, <laughs> just I'll have something to share and um, I share. And then there's a Facebook group as well. Oh, cool. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Which I'm a part of. <laughs> I haven't been very active. I admit I haven't been very active, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So is that it for everyone does anyone out there in our audience have any questions for miss erin before she uh leaves us if you do you can post them or you can ask them in the comments because we're looking but i have to tell you again erin thank you so much because oh my gosh you and the other pattern designers have um were big help in making this this um, challenge successful i mean truly successful and yes. uh, we, we appreciate it. And as all of you know, who are actually on this, we will be drawing the three winners tonight live on the show. So, and Woo! yeah, so yes, I wish I and was we, one. We hope that Aaron, you, you uh, help us next year as well, because we will be bringing it back um, next year, February. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do. Not a problem. Yeah, we're going to be working hard on this one because as a lot of you know, Natita and I unfortunately had life issues that got in the way 
of um, some of the things we really wanted to do. And so we weren't as active as we wanted to be. Um, we tried to do as best we could, and I think we did pretty good considering what we were going through at the time. But next year, we want to make it big. We really do want to make it big. Yep. <laughs> we don't want to keep Aaron too long, but if you okay. have time, Aaron, we do have one quick question from the audience member. But if you don't, we totally understand. No, I'm good. Okay. Mrs. Frederick says, what motivated you to start your own pattern designs? Yeah. Oh, child. Let me give you the quiz notes. So... <laughs> Um, you know, when you sew, people want you to start sewing stuff for them. And I started to do that and quickly realized that I hated doing that. That is not my ministry. Beyonce, Oprah, and <laughs> Michelle Obama can call me and say, Aaron, will you make me a dress? <laughs> my ministry, I don't sew a stitch for anybody but myself. And so my husband might get a button fixed. And so, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> just, mm -mm, that's not my ministry. And so, and on, on top of that, I had a boutique deal that was selling my pieces that closed in the middle of my contract, leaving me with a couple of thousand dollars worth of inventory. Wow. And um, it was very, very difficult. I didn't sew at all, not even for myself for several months. You know, I was wow. embarrassed, um, wow. had debt and, you know, just, I didn't know what I didn't know at the time. Mm -hmm. And so when I finally, you know, picked myself back up and was just like, all right, girl, you got to swallow this one. You know, people are asking what's going on. You gotta, you gotta talk about it. You gotta say something. And, um, I took the next designs that I was going to make for the clothing line and um, I made them into patterns because what I realized, what I also realized, lots of realizations. Okay. Yeah. But what I really realized um, was I created a community in style. So me for women who sew, mm -hmm. when I tried to sell finished pieces, they were like, I don't want that. <laughs> It. You know, and so I was creating the wrong, <laughs> I was creating the wrong products. You know, they were like, oh, that's cute, but I don't want that. And so I said, well, you have access to these people here. What do they want? You got a pattern ready to go to production in a factory. Why don't you just package that up and sell it? And I did. And that's how style so many wow. patterns. Were yeah, your clothing line, that was back when it was CAS, right? Okay. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, we're happy. That's and, and just that's like well. Heather May said, <laughs> everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. It's it's a hard story to tell even to this day. You know, every time I tell it, it gets a little easier to tell. And I just kinda um accept mm -hmm. it as my testimony. Yep. You know. Um, but you know, just lots and lots of mistakes. And all of the things that I learned to do better is what I share yes, on Launch Pro true. Sale. Absolutely true. Yeah. yeah, well, we're all the better for it because now we have Style Some Me patterns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm about to get two more. <laughs> yeah. I have put the links yes. uh, for Aaron in the description in Crowdcast Live, it's above and on YouTube when you're watching replay, it'll be down below. And uh, when she leaves us, I will also put up a couple of the, just off from her website, the shot of the Lisa that she was talking about, as well as the Aaron, because I'm sure some people are like, what, 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 what pattern, what? <laughs> so we'll make sure that people know exactly what's, what's out there and the amazing work that she's done, very stylish. Oh. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Thank so, um, thank you so much, Aaron, for joining us. We really do appreciate it. And yes. uh, yeah, I know Natita and Myra love that you did the challenge. You yes. can tell they're fangirling. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye, okay, everybody. Thank you, Aaron. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> yes. Bye. Beautiful lady. Beautiful work she's doing. And um, yes, we were definitely. Honored and blessed, <laughs> my word. So, okay. uh, really, sorry, really quickly, this is the um, the Lisa, the loungewear that she was talking about. And someone in the comments said something about a slumber party. I'm like, yeah, these are slumber party wears. <laughs> like, oh. yes. And then there is 
the Aaron as well. And um, it's got very neat ties on the bottom of the hem. So those were the two that she was mentioning earlier, but definitely check out Style So Me. And um, she's got a fabulous blog and lots of um, lovely patterns too. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely <laughs> does. Oh, my gosh. Well, I have to say um, we had um, a ton, um, a lot of participants, didn't we, Natita? Yes, and, I, I was I was a little nervous. I'm like, OK, how are <laughs> received and are people going to participate? What's going on? You know. Because, I mean, it's not like I have a ton of followers or anything on Instagram. So Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we probably got more. At least I know I was hitting the, the, the request approval quite a bit. So I think we probably got, at least I did, more just by having the challenge itself. Because, yes, oh, my yes, gosh. That is true. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's just been amazing. I mean, truly amazing. Um, and and they we tried at least to keep up with um, everybody. And if we missed anybody by commenting on their posts that they did, it wasn't intentional. Believe me, it was just so overwhelming the response that we had. Plus, Natita and I were kind of out of it for a little bit and trying to get caught up again. But we loved everything we saw. And we're going to show you a few of them. But the link, the hashtag will be in the little description up above where the little I is in the circle. The link for the hashtag on Instagram will be up there and you can pull it up and see everybody's. But uh, we'll show you a few of the looks that were out there. But oh, my gosh, what a, a, a what a response. Now, um, Natita told what it meant to her in the beginning um, of the uh, the show. And I said a little bit to Aaron about what it meant, you know, having the sponsors. But I have to say, um, it has been personally, um, I don't want to get it welled up. <laughs> it has been personally, uh, I don't know how to, what the word is that I'm looking for. And uh, honor is the only thing I can come up with, but that's not the word I want to say. It touched me personally inside to do this challenge. And it's something that Natita asked me already if i would join her if she brought it back again and i told her yes absolutely 100 percent um because i don't get to do i haven't gotten to do anything like this um and it was amazing to me because when i went out and i shared with all of you the learning tidbits that i did mm -hmm. my intent was to share learning and inspiration looks and unfortunately, I got so busy, I couldn't. So I focused on the research that I had done for the learning because it was already there and I had done it. But for me, everybody kept <laughs> responding and commenting about how they liked the inspirations and you know they wanted me to keep it coming. I was learning just as much as you guys. Every time I pulled up something, I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Why didn't I know this? You know, so. I mm -hmm. was honored when she brought, asked me and, you know, like I said, I said yes again, because this is personal, even though, yes, I am an African-American, I am a black woman. Um, it was personal to me to make sure that not just me and not just other black women, men or whatever, but everyone knew about what I was learning. And some of those people who reached out to me and said they wanted more and keep it coming, they were not minority. So that these are the people that were asking to keep it coming. So yes, I will be doing this again next year and continue the learning and inspiration for next year. I'm looking forward to it. And I didn't get a chance to make more than one um, thing for the challenge. And, I, and my plan was to make three. So next year I'll get those three done. <laughs> so sorry, I was so long winded, but I had to say that because oh, that's it truly okay. was personal to my heart. It truly was. So. Natita, was there anything that was surprising or anything that you learned that you didn't think you would from the outside of the project? Well, um, for me, just like Myra, it's not like I knew all these black pattern designers. Um, people were uh, DMing me on Instagram or leaving comments below, you know, our, our posting. Oh, did you know about such and such and such yeah. and such? And I'm like, no. I didn't. And so that egged me on 
early on, it was early February. I had um, just, just spent the day doing a lot of research. And that's where you saw the post where I had all of these um, from indie patterns um, designers to knit pattern designers um, and all in a lot of the big four where you saw those posts pop up. That's why that happened because let me be honest, I wasn't going to do that. That was not even in my mind. But then so many people were asking about, well, who are black pattern designers? And I, I knew a few, obviously I knew a few, um, but I didn't know all of the range that I had come to realize. And like Myra said, when she was doing the educational pieces, which I think at the end of the day, that worked out perfect. I focused on inspiration looks with our um, sponsor information, uh, whether it be the patterns or fabric, um, and, and Myra educated us. And so <laughs> the, that was the the um, crust of the whole um, challenge was A, here are black pattern designers, but B, here's some education that goes along with it. So, you know, it just broadens everybody's you know, awareness. And how cool is it that in the month of February for the Oscars, we had the Oscar winner um, from Black Panther. Yeah. Created mm -hmm. costumes for Black Panther win exactly. in February. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was just really awesome. And what else I, I was um, uh, surprised by um, is the participation from our knitting community. Um, yes. I'm knitter. I've never knitted in my life. <laughs> as much as I love knitted cardigans and sweaters, it's just one of those those skill sets that I, I guess I never really gave a second thought that I could learn. Mm -hmm. And even if I thought about it, I'm thinking that's probably hard. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know what? I've come a long way on my sewing. I'm pretty sure I can learn knitting and stick to some basic things. And mm -hmm. so that's when I reached out to um, Denise with Baron Handmade. And then she helped elevate and open up um, my eyes to a few other pattern designers. And then, of course, you you saw those posts go out. And I love, the, um, if you, again, if you follow the hashtag, you'll see all of the entries and you'll see different pattern designers, um, Black pattern designers that were used as part of the entries for this challenge. So that was like, whoa, okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually have one of those knitted um, um, posts that we're going to bring up where someone knitted, and I believe it was the Bobble Shrug, and it was by um, Gigi Handmade, I think it's called. Gigi Made It. Yeah, G Gigi Made It. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have one that was knitted, and it was really, really nice. Um, there were so many different things done. We had from coats to uh, knitted scarves, um, knitted shrugs. Um, the Nikki blazer was all over <laughs> the post. <Yeah. laughs> Any version you could come up with was out there. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. There was just so much. And we appreciate everyone. And we know that we can't show everybody out there. Um, we did get permission to show the ones that we're going to bring up. But um, if you want to see them, they are out there on that hashtag. And there were so many different versions. Like here's one that was actually on my list to do last year. I didn't get to do it, but I hopefully get to do it this year. This was by Ms. Shar, and she did this beautiful uh, bomber jacket, which I thought was amazing. Thank you, Ms. Shar, for giving us permission to show that photo. That. Hi, that <laughs> that jacket is awesome on her. It looks fabulous. And thank you so much. I believe this one was done by, yes, by Miss Nikki, I believe it is, um, from uh, uh, Beauty Jador. Uh, she actually designed this pattern for McCall's. But great, great jacket. Love it. Love it. Love it. And um, so... There and here's Miss Elizabeth. That's the Tracy Reese, isn't it, Nintita? Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah, and I love one three one four. Yeah, I love this color because um, we all know Elizabeth, and Elizabeth knows her color. And oh my gosh, yes, she does. <laughs> and she wears her well. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks good in that. She really, really does. But yeah, she did this Tracy Reese dress. A lot of justice on that with that color. Looks beautiful on her. Wow. 
And of course we have the <laughs> Miss Anita, Anita from Anita yes. by Design. And I believe this one was, let me see. That was a think, two piece. Yeah, it's, it's a two piece. Styles for me. Yeah, I thought it was a dress, but no, it's Erwin's uh, top pattern. Um, I believe, and she made it in two pieces to make it, and it looks like a dress. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yes. my gosh. The Elise top pattern, yeah. Yes, yeah, she is definitely a beautiful woman, and she knows oh, how yeah. to dress herself very much. Yeah. But thank you, Miss Anita, for you and Elizabeth both for giving us permission to show your um, looks. Beautiful. She's such a fabulous beautiful. teacher, too. She really is passionate about sewing. <laughs> yes, definitely. And of course, um, and I'm not familiar, I apologize, I'm not familiar with her name, but I saw her, not one, but two looks of the Nikki uh, yes. blazer. This is Silver Luna 888, and this is the Nikki blazer. And like I said, she did two versions of it. She sure did. And, <laughs> and it looks good on her. It looks absolutely, I love this one with the color blocking. And that color blocking she did with this one. Yeah. yeah, I love that. That's just amazing. She did a great job on that. And thank you so much for giving us permission um, to show your photo because I do love, I love both looks. They're absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I have to say this this one here squeaks it about for me a little bit more. I don't know what it is. Just you like that good. one? Yeah, it looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, I like the way she turned, she turned those patterns around. And mm. of course, here we have Miss okay. Crystal from Crystal Stoves. And so thank you again, Miss Crystal, for giving us permission to uh, show your look. But this one I had actually thought about making myself. Um, and when she did it, and I love what she did with it, she made it short mm -hmm. and she put it with these pants. Now that's a different look totally. And I love it because you can do a couple of things with it. You can put on some flat sandals and just you know go out for a coffee or something like that. Or you can put on some heels with this and rock it out to dinner, you know, the way she did it. You know, it just looks really nice. Love it. I absolutely love it. And, oh, yeah, that's Miss Ricky. Miss Ricky. <laughs> <Ricky. laughs> now, she did uh, a couple of dresses. It's Tracy Reese dress. And I really, I like the way she did it because, you know, everyone's doing their own styles. And she really did a nice job with this. She did this one and she did a different one too that has, because um, she did a couple. But um, I love the way she did um, the mixed medium with that, the colors and the prints and the solids. She did the, you know, blocking using that. It's just really mm -hmm. nice the way she did that. And the last one. Miss Laquana, and thank you, Ricky, for giving us permission to. I keep forgetting to say that. Miss Laquana, boy, did she rock this one out with this dress? Yes. Oh, oh, my yeah. word. That is so elegant on her. And I commented right away when I saw this one because she looks beautiful in this. And I love the way she did the mixed medium, too, with that color, the blocking of the leather, the faux leather. And the, uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember if it was a ponte or what, but. Whatever it is, she looks fabulous in it. Thank you again, Miss Laquana, for giving permission on that. She look all extra sassy. Yes, she, <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does. Wow, just amazing. So, and there's many, many, many more that you guys can see if you go to the hashtag out there and take a look, because oh my gosh, everyone did such nice jobs. And again. Yeah. Thank you here to all our sponsors. You want to remind who's on that sponsor list, Miss Natita? I sure do. We have, um, as you saw, as you know, we had Aaron with uh, Style So Me. Um, we had Montoya Mayo with uh, the Tory Rap Coat. Um, we also had Le Janeiro um, of Le Janeiro Pattern. Um, we had um, Roz is with So Much Fabric. So she was also highlighted as well throughout the month. We had Firebella Fabrics um, mm -hmm. also. And then we had, uh, we all know Michelle, that black chick, also yeah. the Stone Magazine. And we had Denise of uh, Baron Handmade. So it's just been so exciting to work with. 
um, all of these um, uh, pattern designers. And I'm excited that every single pattern designer um, that is on here, something was made from every single one of these pattern designers. We had a yes. clutch made. And so, yes, we everything, something was made or uh, inspired by uh, the, the work of the pattern designers um, for the challenge. So that was exciting. Yeah, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And uh, I could think of a couple of things I could have made, but I never got to. So um, I have my list for next year. <laughs> uh, so we applaud you sponsors. Thank you so much for um, joining us on this challenge and sponsoring it for us. So, um, and I think uh, Dawn might pop up a couple pictures, but for those who, who didn't know or didn't catch my um, uh video from over the month of February. I did do three looks for the challenge. Two of them were by Styles of Me. And then one was the Montoya um, patterns, the Tory wrap coat. Like um, Myra, I did plan to do, there, in my plans was to do one, a video every single week in the month of February. <laughs> That didn't work, but that's okay. I'm still going to get to some of these patterns. But as you can see there, I did the, um, that is the Montoya uh, Mayo Tory wrap coat. And so that is what's here. I won't show it here since you see it on the picture, but that was just a dream to work with. Very easy pattern um, to, uh, to sew up. And so, and I also use that pattern because I was in, initially an ambassador for the day and night dress challenge, but unfortunately couldn't fulfill the commitment, but I still later in the month completed the look. And that's what you see here is my look for the day and night dress challenge. My day look is actually, I wore it today too, but it's the um, Style So Me um, Madison cardigan, which I modified. It doesn't come this short as we all saw the Madison cardigan. And it's a nice duster uh, variety with the long sleeve. So I shortened the sleeve. I shortened the um, the bodice or the, the hem of the uh, cardigan to make it shorter. And this is the look I got for my day look. And then for my night look, again, is the Montoya uh, Patterns um, Tory wrap coat, which I actually, that is view B, but is view A hemline. So I didn't want that as long as the view B hemline. And mm -hmm. I also put the sleeves on that one as well. I'm in Texas, so I don't necessarily need, maybe today would have been nice or yesterday. <laughs> Typically don't need that much, that many items with sleeves all the way down to my wrist. So that's why I shortened shorten for those patterns. So yeah, those are the couple different looks I did, did with those two. And of course, I was also on the bandwagon with the style so me Nikki blazer. <laughs> and so if you follow me on YouTube, I did a whole separate review for this pattern, um, as well as the Montoya um, wrap coat as well. Um, yes, I sure did. Miss Fredericks need those sleeves. today. But um, so, yes, I absolutely love the Nikki blazer. And um, the only thing I, I think I don't know if I mentioned it before, but uh, the sleeves I did have to shorten the sleeves. I kind of just tucked them in because they're a little long. You can see right there. But I did uh -huh. just tuck. And yes, very nice pattern. And I, like I said, the color blocking um, that Silver Luna that Myra showed, I mean, you could just do so much with yeah. all of the patterns. With any pattern, you know, you can do any, just play with it and make it your own. So yes, very, very, very exciting. So those were, those were my looks. I know Myra will talk about hers. <laughs> well, I really like the way you took that, um, uh, the Madison and you shortened it, it still had the drape in the front, even though right. you had shortened it. I like the way that looked. I really do. And like you said, we can do so many different things with a pattern and, you know, and make it your own. But um, those, all of your looks were fabulous. And I know that that was your birthday top. And I love that birthday top. That color black <laughs> yes, top was fabulous. <laughs> I know you look hot in that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. <laughs> we didn't see it without the jacket, but I know that look was hot. <laughs> the hubby <laughs> walked out. <laughs> now, um, I struggle. Oh, my gosh. I struggle with mine because, um, uh, as everybody know, I had company come in. I had just moved. I had to get my house together for the company. I had to sew these looks. Oh, my gosh. But they turned out fabulous. 
They really did. Now, I started off with the um, Nikki Blazer, like everybody else, <laughs> but I knew that I wanted to make it in a knit, and that's what I did. And this knit is a burnout um, stripe knit. And um, so I had to take this Nikki, and luckily the pattern for the Nikki worked out really wonderful because her instructions are very, very clear. Um, I think um, some people say that it might be intermediate, and I think the reason why it may be intermediate is because there's so many pieces with it, and there's lining and things like that. But it truly is really easy to put together. I mean, this was my first time using it in the pattern, and I already hacked it using a knit. But it turned out really, really nicely, and it was a replacement for a cardigan that I lost. The Nikki um, style was just like the style of that cardigan that I lost. Um, the only difference was it was a knit. So that's why I decided to do it in that way. And I absolutely love it. It turned out perfect. Love it. I will be making it again, but I'll be making it in a woven um, as she designed it for. But yes, I love this look. I absolutely loved it. The, the cardigan I wear all the time because it's something you can throw on um, and it's lightweight too. So, you know, sometimes when you have just a little bit on your arms when you're a little chilly, you don't need something really heavy, you know, you're just throwing something light, but right. that's it. I'm gonna stop blabbing now. I'm gonna stop blabbing now, so. That's why we're here. We're here to blab, but. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's about sewing, it's all good. I'm honored that you are going to do the draw on tonight's show for the for three winners, I think you said. Yes, yes, three winners. And if, do you want me to uh, go over what the prize packs are? Yeah, sure. that would be fantastic. Okay, so so everybody knows we are doing it randomly and um, Myra will be do taking care of that part. But to remind everybody what the are, our first place prize is the $75 e-gift card from So Much Fabric. We have a pattern of your choice from Style So Me and you get the My Daily Threads So Planet Planner. Our second place prize is two yards of fabric from Firebella Fabrics, um, the Tory Coat pattern from Montoya Patterns, and a copy of Sewn Magazine. Yeah. And third place prize is the knit pattern from Baron Handmade, Denise, um, the, and also the Clara Handbag pattern from Legionero Patterns. Plus, our third place prize winner will be getting a bag of other goodies included with their third prize notions, things of that nature. So those are the uh, prize packs. Yeah, they're amazing pack prizes. Amazing. So now what I would like to do, let me share my screen here. So I'm going to bring up, can everyone see, this is a spreadsheet of the list of everyone. Can you see that, Dawn? Yes, we can. Yep. Okay, this this is a list of everyone you can see here, their Instagram handle, who participated in the challenge. And as you can see, we have them numbered from 1 to 81. We had 81 participants. Yay! So, that is awesome. That is fabulous. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up um, random.org. So what I'm going to do is 1 to 81. And I'm going to hit generate now. Before I do that, can we get a drum roll for this? This is for five number one. <laughs> number 60. Natita, who is number 60? Number 60 is Elizabeth from Elizabeth Made This. Oh she my God. This pattern, uh, Vogue 1314. Congratulations, Elizabeth. You have won the first place prize. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> Elizabeth. Okay. And second. And now for prize pack number two. Number 24. Who is that, Natita? Number 24 is Scenes and Melodies. She it, the McCall 7817. It was a Kalea um, Ali pattern. She did a top. Oh, Ooh, congratulations. Cool. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and for prize pack number three. 
Drum roll, please. <laughs> There's two of us on Zoom. <laughs> number 53. And Natita, who is number 53? Number 53 is Black Women Stitch. And she did um, the Style So Me. She actually did two Elise uh, Style So Me patterns. And it was for the Elise Top. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. 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 So that is so it. I will, I will post, we'll post uh, tomorrow on um, Instagram, the winners, and we'll give everybody at least uh, 24 hours to uh, reach back out and give us their contact information. And um, I'm sure we won't have any problems get any, getting a hold of any of these ladies. No, not at all. Well, congratulations to you all. And thank you all for joining us in the challenge again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, everybody, oh so much. Day. That was exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone just appreciates thank you. What a fantastic job you've done. Thank and they're you, all Alicia. thrilled that it'll be coming back next week. I mean, next year. Oh, gosh, you need a break. <laughs> and Nadina, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really do appreciate that you shared this with us. Now we're wrapping up the this part of the show, the interview part, and we will be going on to the So Blabtastic this week. So we will have to part with Natita, although we are thrilled that we got to see her and we hope to see her again. <laughs> yes, 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 thank Nikita. you. <laughs> and you. we'll talk later, you and okay. I. Alrighty. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes oh, it cuts out a little bit. Yes. Okay. So it seems like we're going away, but we're really not. It's so that we can break it into two pieces when it goes to YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube right now, you've just watched the interview. If you wait for a, a, a night, the next night, there will be So Blabtastic this week. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for the interview. Myra and I really yes. appreciate it. Oh, my um, goodness, yes. Please let us know what you think um, in the comments of the video. Awesome.